Welcome back, YouTube. I am building myself a custom jig for helping me determine my clearancing with a variety of tire sizes. As you may know, purchasing tires can involve a bit of guesswork when deciding on measurements like your offset, and you're always limited to the tire size based on the amount of room that you have in the wheel wells. This Samurai build is entirely custom, and I push the front axle forward over 10 inches. This means that it is critical for me to know that my tires will actually work with the geometry of the suspension that I designed. The best way I could think to do this is by designing a jig that will give me a full preview as to where I need to cut when the suspension is at a full compression and the steering is fully turned in one direction. I designed this jig so that I could quickly switch between different tire sizes because I currently have a set of 36 inch super swampers, but I'd like to make sure that the Samurai is capable of fitting a larger tire down the road if I decide to upgrade. This tire fitment tool gauge that I made has been working really, really well. Unfortunately, maybe too well, because it is highlighting a lot of issues that I have and that my current setup is not gonna work for the tires that I'm looking for. I've been really optimistic about this 100 inch wheelbase. I've also been hoping I could squeeze in 37 or 38 inch tires, but with cycling this axle up and down and all the different configurations, I'm really realizing that uh, these tires just won't fit. So I've got one last hope I'm going to try to raise the actual Samurai up three inches. So I ran some numbers in the four link calculator. I moved all my frame side mounts up by three inches. I've been able to dial in a few other measurements to be able to confirm that that's going to work for my suspension. And that's going to give me about three more inches of tire clearance as well as three more inches of belly. So right now the belly height is at 20.5 inches from the ground and that's going to push it up to 23.5 which I'm sure is gonna be nice to be able to have a little more clearance going over trees, going over rocks and all of that. So it's not a bad thing and it's really gonna help me out with this front end for that final effort to see if I can make this work with 100 inches. So I have the tire gauge set up to 36 inches right now, so a 36 inch tire. And I'm thinking I might be able to make that work. And then we're gonna try this all again and hope that it fits a little bit better. Well, I am very relieved. Bringing the Samurai up by three inches definitely introduced a lot more room for fitting these tires with the 100 inch wheelbase. My next task is a panhard bar. The main role of the panhard bar is to keep the axle centered under the vehicle and eliminate its lateral motion. Packaging the panhard bar is going to be a challenge. So I fabricated together some mock brackets to help me understand where I may run into some issues. As you can tell, I'm getting a lot of interferences with the tie rod as well as with the front axle differential housing. Ideally, the panhard bar has a close relationship to the geometry of your steering drag link, and this is to help eliminate the suspension from introducing an undesired steering motion, commonly referred to as bump steer. The panhard bar is going to need a lot more work, but this is a great start for me to allow me to start designing the mounts in SolidWorks and run some calculations from the location of the pivot points. Next up, I would like to clearance the passenger side of the front fender and get onto the second tire for this front axle.
YouTube, we got the 36 inch tires under the Samurai with a fully mocked up three link and a pan hard bar. I can tell you, I've been stressing about this. It's been on my mind constantly. It's been a lot of issues getting this in as you've seen throughout all these videos. And just seeing this front suspension articulate and move around going to full steering stop and actually still having some room for clearance is making me feel very good. <laughs> this gives me a lot of confidence in knowing that I will be able to get this suspension to work with a 100 inch wheelbase and at least a 36 inch size tire. Remember these ones are quite a bit wider, they're 14 and a half inches wide. So I'm thinking if I bump up the tire size and go with a little bit narrower, like a 12 and a half, I should be able to make that work. I think this pan hard bar is gonna be a bit of a problem. It's gonna definitely need some fine tuning. I need to get these mounts designed and cut out off the plasma table. What I have mocked up right now definitely helped, but it's still having some issues. It's still flexing because it's not fully welded to the frame and they're not very sturdy mounts. So getting that properly designed and tacked on and messing around with this is gonna do me a lot of favors. And honestly, I'm not too worried about this cutting. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. The fact that I can still stuff these tires in here and be able to still see this headlight and maintain a lot of the square body here makes me really happy. Well, I'm gonna cut that video off right here, frankly, just because I need to do a lot of thinking on that front pan hard bar. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed, definitely consider subscribing. I've got a whole bunch more videos, 11 of them on the channel already to get to where we are now. And I guarantee you there's gonna be a lot more on the way. Thanks for supporting and we'll see you next time.